World Sports Action presents the official Football League video. The Coventry City Story, 1989-90. John Sillett roars his Coventry team on, aiming for bigger and better things in the 89-90 campaign. He's got a good foundation to build on. Last season, the Sky Blues finished seventh, a position only improved on once in their history. Pre-season frustration in the transfer market, despite the desire to buy title-winning talent, Sillett manages to make more money than he spends. Out go Sedgley, Roger and Phillips for nearly one and a half million pounds. Coming in, Peter Billing, Kevin McDonald and Keith Woff. In McDonald, Coventry have one of the year's transfer steals. The season opens with visits to champions Arsenal and newly promoted Crystal Palace. For starters, it's Everton at Highfield Road. Nevin will need support. Snowden, well that's a good ball. Grizovic has lost it and Coventry with problems here. Newell! Go all the way through for Newell. Oh, he's turned away from Peak easily. Sheedy with a chance. And Grizovic again in trouble. Go Klein battling for Coventry. Emerson's done well. Here's Speedy. And still we await the first goal. Well, that's a lovely ball. And Bannister with some space. Can he find it? He has. 1 0 Coventry. Gary Bannister. Regis finding Jin and Burrows is in some space. Well, that's a good ball. Speedy! Great finish. Rocastle allowing Marwood to play in the cross. And David O'Leary well forward for Arsenal. Alan Smith making sure they keep the ball. Richardson's cross. Marwood is there. And Arsenal their first goal of the season at Highbury from Brian Marwood Merson there's a confident feel to Arsenal's football at the moment and Coventry finding it hard to keep them at bay and Arsenal should be confident after all that they've achieved Merson this is Thomas still Thomas well, the Arsenal hero of Anfield has got a goal here against Coventry City. And Coventry beginning to look more menacing. Here's Smith. Oh, I think the defender was unlucky there. Kill Klein, the skipper, might try his uh, luck from here. There he is. Oh, it's found its way in. A killer special produces the points. And now, Manchester City at home and the prospect of topping the first division for the first time ever. Now, this has been a very useful weapon for Manchester City already this season. Andy Hinchcliffe's corner and that veers in and Grzovic in trouble. White! From almost under the bar. And Grzovic would have known that was coming but still found it difficult to deal with. Another Hinchcliffe corner. And White has made up for his earlier miss. It's an identical goal to the one he got against Tottenham on Saturday. And it's the third goal in a row that Manchester City have collected from right-wing corners taken by the left foot of Andy Hinchcliffe. 1-0 to Manchester City, 19 minutes gone. Fisher. Allen, who's been moving around most intelligently against Kilcline, deflected. And the referee's given a goal kick, and that is a surprise. Bannister and Brian Gale in some difficulties. Redmond got ahead to it. Morley, Manchester City struggling to get the ball away here. Bannister on the turn. 
Well, it was a difficult shot to control, and Gary Bannister did very well indeed. Ripped over the top by Paul Cooper. Morley, first to it, second to it as well. And it's back with Jim. And Brian Gale misjudged the deep ball, but Regis was put off. Emerson letting it run. But long by Peak. Guided down well by Regis. Jin in a lot of space. And Mickey Jin has used that space to great effect. He's got Coventry City level. And Manchester City will look at this goal that they conceded with some disappointment because of the room allowed to Jin. Even so, it was excellently tucked away. Bill Klein bringing the crowd to their feet. Smith. Regis blocked by Gale. Redmond got a lucky ricochet then. Coventry continued to press, having turned the game round in the second half, but it's still 1-1. And now here's Morley. And a chance for Manchester City to get their noses back in front, but Agrizovic makes the save from Trevor Morley. It was a penetrating pass from Clive Allen, who continues to make chances for others, but they don't make too many for him. Hill Klein, beaten by the path of the ball, Allen looking to see what's on in the centre. Morley came flying in and Brightwell, no! A matter of inches. Grzovic recovered. And Ian Brightwell back in the side for the first time this season is denied a goal. been a swashbuckling second half Regis Speedy is there and are we going to get a winner now we are it's David Smith in the final minute there have been chances at both ends that have gone a begging but Coventry have snapped up this one in the nick of time to turn one point into three David Smith the hero piece of history. What a proud moment for everyone at Highfield Road. Coventry, top of the first division for the first time in their 106 year history. Millwall going well too, just a point behind the Sky Blues and they are the next opponents. Good, bright start by Millwall. Prepared to take the game to Coventry. Bit untidy in the middle at the moment. Cascarino jumping, oh, it'll come for Sheringham, who scores? Millwall in front, inside the first minute. Stevens surrounded by yellow shirts, but still he goes on. Well, that'll be a free kick. David Speedy anxious on the left-hand side of the wall. Here's Sheringham. Deflected, 2-0. Burrows finding his keeper. Who went down awkwardly. Steve Grzovic. Is it the knee or the shoulder? And here come Millwall again. Cascarino on this right side. Confronted by Brian Kilkline. Kilkline quick enough. Well, Cascarino still got the cross in. Anthrobus. 3 0. David Speedy, the replacement goalkeeper. Here's Mickey Jim for Coventry. 3 0 Millwall lead. 
and Coventry with the replacement keeper David Speedy between the sticks David Smith now can he make something of this Stevens faces him he's gone all the way Smith good goal Speedy's missed that there's Briley doors arriving on his outside when oh, he's got some space here is this 4-1 yes it is a crushing defeat it means Millwall replace the Sky Blues at the top losing Steve Grizovic another blow in fact that shoulder injury means Big Oggy will miss his first game for Coventry since signing back in June 1984 David Speedy though signs a new contract it ties him to the club until 1993 Coming up, visits to Chelsea and Sheffield Wednesday. First, a home game with Luton. Here's Jin at right back. Well, you're going to hear the appeals for offside, but the flag stays down. And this is a great chance for Bannister. Coolly taken by Gary Bannister. Well, that's found its way through to Wegerly. His control rather let him down. And he's gone down. Keith Woff in the Coventry goal. The replacement for Steve Grizovic. And he faces Danny Wilson, the Luton skipper. 1-0 Coventry. This is crucial. Oh, Wilson's pulled his kick wide. On from Dixon. Dickens. Well, he's lost his shirt, and Coventry have lost the goal. Kevin Wilson, his fourth of the season. Well, Greg Downs will tidy up. All robbed by Atkinson. Now possibilities here for Wednesday. Here's Witten. Oh, we'd have loved that to have gone in against his old club. Smith off in pursuit he's done well now can he get the shot in well taken now the first big shock of the season a 3-1 defeat in the Littlewoods Cup at 4th Division Grimsby before the second leg a transfer coup Kevin Drinkle signs from Rangers the fee £800,000 that's a club record and Drinkle makes his debut against one of his former clubs in the second leg of the Littlewoods Cup. And a lot expected on the night of Kevin Drinkle, Coventry's most expensive signing. 3-1, they trail from the first leg. Well, Grimsby certainly don't look overawed. Putting their passes together. Oh, and Reese may have caught Downs on the far side. And he might walk for that. Drinkle, great finish! What a start for Kevin Drinkle. Oh, they left Smith alone on the far side. And Speedy's unmarked! 3-3 on aggregate. David Speedy! Smith and Coventry really with their tails up now. McDonald might try one. Oh! Screamer! Kevin McDonald opens his Coventry account with an absolute beauty and a scoring and winning start for Drinkle. Now two very big matches, Nottingham Forest and Manchester United, both at Highfield Road. First, let's take a look at Cluffy's Nottingham Forest. Kill Klein was beaten by Chapman. This is Crosby taking on Peak, who couldn't prevent the shot going in and no two could have Grizovic. That's a goal for Gary Crosby. Rice, 2-0. Kill Klein, oh, what was he thinking about? And Bruce came in. Now Coventry were vulnerable from the last corner. Here's Sharp. 
But Grzyzewicz has lost that and Hughes has punished him. Hughes, who has run riot this afternoon, Phelan's in, can he finish it? 3-0. McClare, Hughes, McClare going for the return. United are rampant here. Coventry standing and watching Hughes. Brilliant finish. And it's four. That's a huge kick from Agrizovic. Drinkle! He'll have enjoyed the finish, but not the manner of the defeat. Coventry catching United on one of their best days. That's the situation then. Ten games gone, Coventry 11th. Littlewoods Cup time again, and a really tough one. Queen's Park Rangers at Loftus Road. Now Downs. Oh, and David Seaman has fumbled it over the line, and Greg Downs leaps in delight. Deep from Downs. One full back to the other, Borrows, blocked by McDonald. Borrows again, Drinkle turns swiftly and shoots with great venom too, and Kevin Drinkle, three goals in three games now for Coventry. Paul Wright, 2-1. Queen's Park Rangers are in a hurry. Rangers rushing, the Sky Blues winning, and they'll need to maintain that away form, in particular at Anfield and Villa Park. First, though, back to London for the match with Charlton Athletic. Lee Byrne. Now Lee. Good run by Humphrey. Smith's come back with him but couldn't stop the cross. Reed. Mortimer. Charlton have scored. Graf, pressed by Pink, Charlton working hard in defence of their 1-0 lead. Regis, Speedy, oh it's a soft one, but Speedy has equalised. Reed, now Williams, McGrath caught him, that was a full speed collision. And McGrath is punished by a red card. Agrizovic, for so long an Anfield reserve, of course. McDonald, who was a cup winner with Liverpool. There he is again. Borrows. Speedy. Nicely done. Good effort. Beardsley, Barnes, lovely. Ablets with the cross and Beardsley's unmarked. Out there's Burrows having a look and Barnes is coming in unmarked. Must score. How on earth did he miss that? Barnes. Some of Liverpool's passing and movement, delightful. It's Beardsley again! Downs floating it in, Regis! And Coventry go in front! Very much against the run of play. Beardsley, Burrows, and away by Drinkle. Here's Beardsley, Barnes, lovely stuff, Beardsley's cross, rush, it just won't go in. Kenny Dalglish as puzzled as the next man. McDonald. Oof, speedy nearly in, Drinkle! Nearly finished it. Smith. Hanson's at his back. He's Burrows well forward. Should be comfortable for Grobelaro. Got into trouble. Not quite sure who else was to blame. 
Barnes. Here's Beardsley again. Now then, surely Beardsley! And Coventry City congratulate themselves and their supporters on an historic win. Their first in 23 attempts at Anfield. Hard one points. John Sillett, a happy man this afternoon. Courageous. Jen. Oh, and Raddock's a little casual there. Drinkle. Southampton, a sluggish start. Smith. Speedy. Well, Raddock was late, and it is a penalty. No, Brian Kilkline, so it's Kevin McDonald who's missed. Oh, Grzovic, very nearly caught out by Russell Osman. Done. Jen. It was a cracking effort. Regis covered a lot of ground to make that ball his. Coventry always look at their best when they switch the ball to David Smith on the left. But he's laid it off for Downs to cross in this time. Oh, Drinkle might get there, he has done! Showing again what a shrewd acquisition he's been for John Sillett. Daly. Still Daly, Coventry letting him go. Ormondroyd's unmarked, here he is, and he must score. 1-0 Villa. Daly again. Good stop! Oh, and it's gone in off Trevor Peak. That's a good ball from Speedy. Smith's in. Oh, fell at the crucial moment, but Jin! And that'll give them heart. Ormondroyd! It's given! 3 1 Villa. It's all over now. Oh, that's reckless. Hasn't been Trevor Peak's afternoon. Clapped against the Grzovic. 4-1. Villa really flying, but it's still anybody's title at the moment. And Coventry, 10th. 14 games and 20 points. And it's cup time once again. The fourth round of the Littlewoods and an away tie at Manchester City. Smith looking for Regis. Well taken. Yes! Big Cyril on target. Coventry through to the quarter-finals. An alternative route to Wembley, those cut off by Wimbledon in the Zenith Cup. But a chance to avenge that defeat. Wimbledon, the last of four league games coming up. Games against Arsenal and Everton first. But let's start with a visit from Norwich and more late drama. Well, if either side's going to win it, it'll have to be in the next five minutes or so. Regis! And Coventry have broken through with just five minutes left. Now big ring. When he releases the ball, I think that Everton will be trying to work on to develop his game. Sharp jumping for this one, and he got to it. McCall! Technically, it was a superb volley. Everton felt they were unlucky to lose at Highfield Road at the start of the season. Sheedy with revenge very much in mind. Dave Watson, 2 0. Harwood's corner, and Arsenal have looked dangerous from these set pieces. Agrizovic struggling again. Oh, and Downs got him out of trouble on the line. 
Great run this by Rocastle. Dixon steaming up alongside him. Oh, and they were queuing up on the far post. Adams jumping with Regis. Adams hit the bar. And Coventry still not out of trouble yet. Smith. Oh, Grizovic coming, he's not sure. And he could struggle there, it's dropped in. Smith straying over to the right side. And earning Coventry a free kick. Well, the ball's put in the net by Mickey Jinn. But the whistle had gone for a foul by Curl on Drinkle, I think it was. Brian Burrows scores. Stoppage time now at the end of the first half, but enough time for Eric Young for Wimbledon. rather giving the ball away and here's Smith oh and Joseph's in trouble that's off Carl I don't believe it an own goal in the last minute it's true Coventry established as the late show specialists and they're in the top eight now it's the Christmas period matches against Derby and Spurs coming up, first QPR away, and Rangers unveiling a new million pound man. Oh, Waggerly determined to really make an impression here. His home debut, his first full game. Oh, beautifully played. Barker shoots. Waggerly inspired the move. Waggerly. A useful run outside him by Sansom. Very nearly made a goal. There was a gap Wegerly was aiming for. Falco. Wegerly. Brilliant. Still Wegerly. They might have a new hero here. Downs. Well, nothing given. But there might be a goal now. Falco. That ended the argument pretty emphatically in favour of Rangers. Wegerly leaving Emerson in his wake. Well, all that's been missing here from Roy Wegerly has been the finish. Bartley on the burst, down struggling to keep up with him. Oh, and uh, Grzevich had that near post covered. Speedy. Oh, it's a brilliant goal from David Speedy. Wonderful improvisation. Barsley got it away from Smith, but Downs was there. That's Jin. And Coventry going all out for a winner now. Jin, Speedy. But it's still 1-1. Downs with a kick. Speedy jumping well. Here's Drinkle. Must go in. Oh, it's hit the post. And Shilton was delighted to see it. McCord with space to get the cross in. Wright's on the far post. 1-0. Oh, McCord's done well again here. Downs is having a torrid time. Hebbard! 2-0 Derby! Downs well forward, that's a good ball. Drinkle. Smith takes over. And here's Speedy! 2-1!
Derby, you sense are not finished yet. Hibbard's in again. Oh, that's a great finish. A bit untidy in there. Here's Blades. Saunders in space. Hibbard's call from here. Agrizovic has made a good stop. Ramage. It's over the line. Smith gets the cross in. Speedy, brilliant save by Mims. Speedy trying to catch Tottenham out again. And Mims is the barrier once more. That's good play by Allen. Terrific play. Lineker! Well, you'd have backed him, but you'd have lost. That really is a mighty kick by Agrizovic. It's led to Speedy with a chance. The direct route. Lineker holding it up. Samways. Stewart. Well, it was deflected on the way to the post. Downs hangs it up. Mims is beaten to it by a very brave Speedy who really deserved the goal for his courage. Yes, great commitment from David Speedy as we go into the 90s. And there we are Coventry, 21 games, 28 points, and 11th position. What an embarrassment now. In the FA Cup, Coventry go out to 3rd Division Northampton Town. A new first team coach arrives, he's Dixie McNeil, and immediately there's the prospect of two win doubles with matches against Crystal Palace and Manchester City. First, Steve Coppel's Palace at Highfield Road. Plenty of gaps in that stand on the far side, they've had enough it seems. Oh wait a minute, Speedy's in here! 86 minutes gone and David Speedy surely settles it. David White might get there and he has done. Manchester City, seven minutes left. Could that be the winner? Indeed it was, a late twist in the tail against Coventry for a change. Well, the Littlewoods Cup is now the only chance of a trophy. There's a tough quarter-final on Wearside. It ends goalless with both teams down to 10 men. Speedy and the Sunderland skipper Gary Bennett sent off in the second half. Well, can the Sky Blues progress in the replay at Highfield Road? Let's take a look. Downs with the kick. Livingstone! The perfect start for Steve Livingstone. Regis battling, is Livingston again! Regis got up well, Livingston, the hat-trick, yes! Handball, surely, doesn't matter, Livingston's in again here, this could be number four, it is! Regis, and Jin's on the far side, number five, in style! Steve Livingston's arrived on the big stage and it means a semi-final against the Forest. Another new face, Kevin Gallagher, the Scot, £900,000. The club record is shattered once again. Two visits from London clubs, Chelsea and Millwall, and first it's Gallagher's debut against Chelsea. Kevin Gallagher will hope that his move to England pushes his claims for a place in Scotland's World Cup squad. That's over Jonsson, Roberts is in trouble, Livingston, and a soft centre at the back for Chelsea. Gallagher, nicely taken by Burrows, Regis has got the chance, Coventry have scored, but that will be an own goal against Kevin McAllister.
McAllister. Not letting Downs get close enough to get in the challenge. Dixon got to it. Dorigo bangs it past the Grizovic. 2 1. Dorigo. Clive Wilson goes to the left. Kevin Wilson finds it. David Lee involved in the move. Chelsea passing the ball sweetly. Dixon. That is a very classy goal indeed from Chelsea. Scored by Kerry Dixon at the end of a terrific move. Hooked back by Jin. Chelsea one offside, but they're not going to get it. Coventry, 3-2, Regis. Well, not the best free kick. Wind may not have helped you there. There's quite a strong breeze blowing. Here's Stevenson, confronted by Downs. Who can't get a foot in. Still he goes on. Oh, Grisovic in trouble. Cascarino! Millwaller in front. Livingston, he did well there. That's such a good ball. Possibilities again, though. For Smith now. Oh, good finish. 1-1. Regis battling away, such an influence in this Coventry front line. Here's Jin. Nicely done, Jin again, and Livingston! Well, you just can't stop this young man. A huge kick from Agrizovic. Turned on by Regis, and Livingston again! 3-1! Now Livingston and the Sky Blues are watched by an audience of millions. The ITV live cameras are at the city ground for the Littlewoods Cup semi-final first leg against the holders, Nottingham Forest. A really cold grey afternoon here in the East Midlands. Livingston with the back header. Livingston, a good powerful shot and Sutton had to take that well. Well, that was the shot of a young man in form. Headed on Parker, Oryxson's in space. Here's Oryxson. And Phil Klein again there. Obrizovic using his fists. Parker finding Pierce. And again there towards Clough. He's got past Trevor Peak. He's gone past Burrows. Across the face of the goal, and Oryxson almost in there. And it came off down to the corner. A real good snaky run there by Nigel Clark, and he looked as though he was falling all the way, and right at the end there he managed to whip in his cross. He went past Peak, and he went past Borrows, he looked to stumble there, and as he stumbled he got it across. And Oryxson was almost in a position to finish it off. And Oryxson with this corner, floated in, across the goal there, touched away! First by the goalkeeper and then by Mickey Jinn. And Anguish looks in that Coventry City goal mouth at the moment as Forrest put them under real pressure. Crosby. Crossed in once more, it wouldn't get through as far as Clough. There was a foul on the Coventry defender. And Coventry gets a free kick. Here we are again. Orlickson's corner. Good punch away there. Useful header away by Jin. Parker. Trying to get Hodge away. Forest corner. Short, 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 out. So short to Hodge. Back again to Crosby. Now for Pierce. A little flick in by him. Oh, was that handball? Yes, it was a handball by Regis. That may have been. Uh, took the ball and wrong footed Cyril Regis Regis claims it came off his thigh the linesman who was in a good position to see well Saint well it looks very dicey from uh, this angle certainly it looks as if Cyril had his arm out and was trying to get it away and it may have hit his thigh as well well Nigel Clark who scored a penalty in the final last year against Luton now has the perfect possibility 
to put Forrest ahead in this semi-final against Coventry this season. Clough against Grizovic. It's 1-0 Forrest. Well, it's straight at the goalkeeper who dived one way and into the net it went. Wasn't the best of penalties actually. Regis, but it was Pierce who got a not very convincing clearance in, but it uh, found Parker, who in turn finds Clough holding off Peak, bringing in Orlickson. Now, what sort of cross can he produce? One for Nigel Clough, it ricochets there, and Jensen lost his feet and couldn't quite finish him off. But there was a good chance there for Nottingham Forest, Ian St John. Well, marvellous play by Nigel Clough in the first instance, and uh, got the return pass, had the shot, ricochet there, and as you see there, Jensen couldn't really get his feet to the ball, and just uh, skidded off and through to the goalkeeper. Here's Pierce again. His cross is in there, Kilkline couldn't quite get to it, Olixson couldn't get to it either. And now Laws, a long-range shot maybe. Oh, hit with tremendous power! And Abrizovic... <laughs> Grizovic happy just to get his hands to it in the end, maybe it was moving a lot in the wind and uh, he really hit them with great power did Laws and Grizovic got his hands behind it and was quite happy really that he went behind for the corner Dobson, oh, he lost that one, Hodge went in for it but Dobson got it back again Regis Here's Jen, might let fly from here, certainly should from here, no, the little chip in, and Walker got it away again. Helped by Pierce, the ball flicking off Gallagher, so it'll be Forrest's throw. But there are moments when uh, Coventry begin to look really threatening. Peak, Smith, again Walker standing firm, but this time there's a free kick to Coventry City, a really good central position here and Forrest will need to build that wall effectively Kilkline's in there Dobson, breakdowns Borrows, they all want a little bit of this, and are arguing the point at the moment they pushed Gallagher into the wall to make mischief it's going to be Kilkline, it's going to be a real blast and the wall is such a formidable one, I doubt whether Steve Sutton can see it. But it hits straight into that wall of red. Chipped in once more. Olixson, oh, poor header. Straight to Dobson! And Livingstone! And after that poor header out by Orlickson, Thompson playing it in, and suddenly Livingston is there first before Sutton, and it's tied up at 1-1. Ian St John. An excellent goal, we have to say, what a terrible, terrible mistake by Orlickson in the first instance, but there, that's good striking, isn't it? Parker. to Philip Starbuck. Almost his first touch. Just wide now. From Brian Laws again. Terrific strike there by the fullback. He just flicked off Kilpine and just flicked off for Abrizovic as well. Parker. striving now to make this home advantage play having been pulled back to 1-1 Johnson trying to turn Kilkline and Kilkline giving him a little shove in the back and so it'll be a free kick now to Forrest on the edge of the Coventry box Nigel Clough with a penalty Steve Livingston with an equaliser standing at 1-1 with a little over 10 minutes of this Littlewoods Cup semi-final first leg remaining 
Well, it might be a tough call here. It might be a Pierce blast. Dobson, who's never scored for Coventry, and in the end, it was Pierce who got it over his own goal line. The rain pouring down now as we come to the last seconds of the first leg of this Littlewoods Cup semi final. Morrow's chasing with this one, and there goes the final whistle. It's a 2 1 victory for Nottingham Forest. Coventry still feel they can do it, and there's one of the reasons. Steve Livingston averaging two goals a game. The second leg, Coventry live on ITV once again, and Highfield Road packed, nearly 26,000 inside, the biggest crowd of the season. Played short. Smith. Play for Downs. There's the ball played in. Speedy trying to make something of it. Regis with a chance here. Off the crossbar. Touched it again. So close with his header, and some miraculous defending on the line by Nottingham Forest. The closest you could ever imagine uh, to a goal without one actually being scored. Regis, a little chip there, which he does so well, off the post. There's the header by Smith, and it's Brian Laws who just gets it over the top. He is shot to go through, it's going to be Pierce again, against the crossbar. Goal kick. And from the other angle, Nigel Cloughton is over the ball. In comes Stuart Pierce, round the wall and against that Coventry crossbar. Knocked in again by Downs. Walker getting it away, only as far as Jin. Scorching shot just too high, but it's flipped away for the corner. So another corner. Smith will take it. The pressure's on Forrest. The minutes are ticking away now for Coventry. Smith hitting it wide. It came off the knees of Speedy. And Trinkle almost turned it into the Forest net. And Sutton simply sat on it. Great effort from the Sky Blues. It's Forrest, though, who go to Wembley. And now Coventry have another very big match. The Villa at home, and they're live to the nation again. It is a day when we learn something about Aston Villa's ability to take pressure, to take things in their stride, as Liverpool indeed have been doing for the past 20 years or more. That heavy defeat against Wimbledon last weekend, when a five-point lead at the top was staring them in the face. 
And if uh, Villa win today, they go two points clear at the top. Here's Cowens with the call, the uh, free kick. Phil Klein just nodding it on behind for the first corner of the game, going to Aston Villa. Yes, you can understand Sillett's decision to play Brian Kilkline, even though he is a bit iffy, because they do need a big man in there to get his head to things. Well, especially with the likes of Orman Royd, number 11, and Mountfield has come up from the back. Paul McGrath's come up from the back as well. Cowens, who throws in such an accurate corner. Not back by Kent Nielsen. And McGrath against the post, and behind by Peak. But the flag is up. The flag is up on the far side. McGrath's effort wouldn't have counted in any case. He's never scored for Aston Villa, and he thought just for a moment that he'd broken his duck. Caught it well. The linesman's flag by now was up. And Coventry breathe again. Mountfield with the free kick Peak finding Speedy Cowns a touch for McGrath here he goes again and a good save by Abrizovic this is a new Paul McGrath we're seeing today with uh, one that hit the post though that was after the flag was up but that was a good firm strike and called for an excellent save Livingston Gage trying to get the header and Regis oh a terrific bit of goalkeeping there by Spink threw himself at that challenge when Villa were caught out and Regis was in the perfect position Smith crossing it in again McGrath getting back into that penalty area getting it away only as far as Gin what a great piece of goalkeeping there by Nigel Spink good consistent first division goalkeeper is Spink he's done Villa proud here it caught Mountfield on the wrong foot and suddenly Regis was there Tony Dobson with the throw Dobson again in towards Kilcline nobody knows where it is Jin the first to find it Speedy into Gallagher And a throw to Coventry. Mickey Jen. To Brian Morris for Coventry. He'll climb in the dummy. Speed is shot superbly saved there. That was a great dummy by Kill Klein. And a well taken shot by Speedy, but again some excellent goalkeeping by Spink. Jimmy Greaves. Oh, great dummy and a superb save. It's a question of Nigel keeping his eye on the ball, which he did. Daily now for Villa. Goes round his man. And knocked away for the corner by Trevor Peak. This really is a good game of football because within 10 seconds of Coventry possibly scoring we might well have had a goal the other end for Villa Cowan's in with the corner rarely wastes one floats it in once more there Abrizovic with a long boot upfield aiming for Gallagher gets Gallagher's head but yes he just keeps it in play Tony Daly right across there to challenge him McGrath now Platt is off. Let's see what sort of pace he's got. He's got only inside him. It's with David Platt now. And Peak defending well. There was no margin for error. If he brought Platt down in the box, that's a pen. But he judged it to a nicety.
Speedy playing it in. Collins to Price. Daly. It's got away from Speedy. It's got away from Peak. Can he get away from Dobson? The cross is in there, but straight to Abrizovic. Terrific run there by Tony Daly. Outpaced three men there. And just with a cross that needed to be pulled back an extra yard or so for Platt, who was coming in. Great run, though. Was a great run, and he just a little bit overstretched. Towards the far side, Smith's coming in, a terrific save by Spink. Oh, Spink's the real hero, but that was a great uh, commentary move and a marvellous flying header by David Smith. Speed is ball across that goal mouth. Here comes Smith, and there once again is Nigel Spink. That's a great save. That's Lovely cross, great save. It's with Kevin Gage. Ormanroyd making a break. And Burrows has had a really good, consistent game in the first 45 minutes, just stucking in with a header. Cairns will take it. Nielsen's gone to the near post, along with Olney. Mountfield and Ormanroyd and McGrath waiting behind. There's Nielsen with the flick on. Regis needed at the back there to use his height to get it away. Daly with the shot, just wide of the post. The Villa fans thought for a moment it had gone in, and he struck that wickedly with the outside of the boot. Good strike from young Tony Daly. Excellent strike. He knew exactly what he was doing. He, he needed to curl it, and curl it he did. And that's a good shot. Livingston. Speedy. Here's Smith in a bit of space. Corner to Coventry. Mountfield looks in a bit of trouble there. Well, Kevin Drinkle's coming on as Steve Livingston goes off, the substitution uh, being made for Coventry. And if Mountfield's in trouble, then uh, well, Villa have Stuart Gray, a defender. But here's Coventry now with Gallagher playing it in. Ormond missed the chance there. And it's in there by Drinkle. His first touch as a substitute. And Coventry go into the lead. Well, the substitution was made because of an injury. If it weren't for that, you'd say that was an absolute masterstroke by John Sinnott. A great first touch there by Kevin Drinkle. Onto the left boots. And Coventry go into the lead. Jimmy Green. It, it was a good touch because it's not easy to come on, as we all know, as a sub and get straight into the game. It was good control and a, an excellent finish. Here's Speedy. And now here's David Smith. That's really got Coventry going. There's the shot, it's another one! David Smith, two goals in 90 seconds. Nigel Spink, the hero of the first half, fits the ball out of the net again, and Villa are in deep trouble. David Smith, the scorer, only his fourth of the season, tormenting Chris Price, getting it onto the right foot and burying it beyond Spink in the far corner. 
bring us something. He took the player on, took it on, brought it inside. Good shot, gave the keeper no chance. In the meantime, uh, Stuart Gray is on, and Derek Mountfield is off. Well, it's all action now. Mountfield hobbling away. Now let's see what Villa are made of as they seek to come back. So problems mounting for Graham Taylor. Coventry 2, Villa 0. Just shows you what's happened when a player does get injured. Teams do lose concentration. We all say they shouldn't. It's a professional game. They're all professionals. But it does happen. Knocked off the post there. And that was a terrific jump there by uh, Stuart Gray. And Villa so close to that lifeline that they wanted. Jumped really well here. What a leap that was by Gray. Beating Grzyzewicz's dive, but not the post. And I it think, stays at 2-0. I think Villa will now know that it isn't their day. <laughs> so it's... Worrying week for Graham Taylor and his men. Graz ball. Black playing it on. Dobson getting it back to Grzimic. Successive league defeats at a time when you really need to scramble results as the championship race gets into the last lap. Villa are beaten by two goals to nil. Kevin Drinkle and David Smith. Those quick bursts early in the second half. Coventry two, Aston Villa nil. Great satisfaction and an exceptional recovery from that Littlewoods Cup disappointment. Coventry move up into the top six. And now the fixture computer throws up three away fixtures in a row. Luton, Nottingham Forest once again, and then Norwich. First, Luton at Kenilworth Road. Kingsley Black. Well, still in charge. Oh, it's crept in! How did that get past to Grzyzewicz? Drinkle is in here. Oh, it's very well taken. Nicely done. Brian Burrows. Still Burrows. Speedy and Regis on the far side. Well taken. Coventry are in front. Wilson. Smith doing his best to get back. Gray, the substitute, has got one back. A match of crucial consequence for Luton. Oh, and that's gone in. Dowie, I think. It may well have come off the defender, but it's 3 2. Burrows. Jet pressed by Olixson. Now Billing. Coventry passing the ball around with plenty of confidence, but not making a lot of progress at the moment. Drinkle and Speedy slipped. And Forrest forced them back again. Forrest keeping everyone behind the ball. Regis. That was a sure touch. Jin finding Burrows. Drinkle. Regis, Forrest straining to get to the ball, oh, Olixson! It's a goal from Gallagher and it was Olixson's fault. 
with a sloppy attempt to find his own goalkeeper. And Coventry, who'd waited patiently to try to make a chance, found it given straight to them by Olixson. Goal for Gallagher. Laws. After Parker had rolled it short to him. Oh, and Billing after a miscue by Burrows. Very nearly an equaliser then. Grisovic wants everyone calm down. Nottingham born, of course, Steve Grisovic. Formerly a member of the police force here. Drinkle! Well, that was a rescue act by Stuart Pearce when Drinkle could have really given Coventry a grip on the game. Regis. Well, Coventry really with a bit between their teeth here. Looking to avenge their Littlewoods Cup semi-final exit. Drinkle. most convincing of saves by Steve Sutton. He must have realised that no one was following in for Coventry. But John Sillett's team have made a great start here. Smith for Gallagher again. Regis, oh, it'll come for Speedy. Now for Jin. Really, Nottingham Forest in no sort of form at all so far. Lucky to be only one goal down. And Coventry looking to keep the pressure on now. Regis finding David Smith. Laws holding him up. But only momentarily. Great work by Smith. Speedy! That was a wonderful header. Because there was very little pace on the ball in the end when it arrived with David Speedy. Caught on the gusty wind here at the city ground. But a flick of the neck muscles and beautifully placed. Well, it was a good tackle by Peak. And Speedy and Smith working it to some semblance of safety. And Regis looking to do more than that by getting Smith away here. Pierce has had to come all the way across as the covering player. And in the end, Smith dragged the shot wide. But another example of the mood, the buoyant mood that Coventry find themselves in, having scored twice in the opening 13 minutes. Clough. Crosby. Well, one would have expected Forrest to have been fired by Brian Clough's half-time talk, and here's Curry. He had a clear side of goal, and Grzovic got right behind the shot. Pierce again, a tricky one to judge, as the wind continues to gust around the ground. Coventry will certainly be grateful for the league points if they can hold on for victory here be wondering, and their supporters in particular, why they couldn't have found the goal touch and the confidence in their play in the Littlewoods Cup semi-final and went on to Wembley instead of Forest. But the overall destiny of the match not quite so certain the way Forest have started the second half. Still a lot for them to do. Two goals adrift, Crosby. Blocked purposefully by Jim Smith. Speedy. Much easier to play in these circumstances when the ball is on the ground. Gallagher. Oh, it was a great effort. And Coventry, really for the first time in the second half, recapturing the form they showed in the first. Sutton got his fingers to Gallagher's shot. Drinkle! Kevin Drinkle has always been a splendid performer in the air. 
wherever he's played and commentary got a better angle for him with the short corner initially 3-0 Rice looking to pick a player at the near post, Orlikson. Regis having to defend Parker and it needed. One would have thought the merest of touches by Clough with Coventry appealing for offside. But I think the linesman might well have been right because Billing moved out a little late. Clough, Laws, Forrest have got to gamble, well hit! Brezovic dealt with that dramatically because Brian Laws, who really needs no second bidding to come forward and join the attack, really connected. Great save. Dobson's throw. Helped inside by Drinkle for Speedy. He does that too often to call it a fluke really confirms that this is Coventry City's day. David Speedy with a wonderful show of flair here to lift the ball over Sutton and really make a fool of him. Nottingham Forest find themselves four goals down at home to the team they knocked out of the Littlewoods Cup in the semi-final stage. Just 12 minutes left. And Coventry surely can't have played better than this all season. And Pierce, his old club of course, rubbing his nose in it a little. But Crosby can get one back now and should have done. It was a marvellous pass by Clough. In fact, Crosby made himself the extra man coming late on the scene. But couldn't take the opportunity. Laws. Clough still probing away. Still keeping his head up. Pierce. Oh, and Curry! Well, Forrester finally scored. It'll bring some satisfaction to David Curry because it's his first goal here after his move from Barnsley. It was well taken, but it's not going to turn the game, I don't think. Wilson left it a little late. Here's Gaynor. Now Crosby. Laws coming forward again. Absolutely unstoppable. Well, it's back to 4 2. Pierce. In a way, Brian Laws' goal almost wasted the circumstances that Forrest find themselves in. It's a valiant effort, really, and maybe the words from Brian Clough on the final whistle won't be quite as severe. But the two goals that Forrest have scored late on haven't taken too much away from the overall performance by Coventry City. And there is the final whistle. For most of the game, it was really Coventry. Malcolm Allen here, Flick, Townsend, oh he's hit the post, Allen again buzzing at Coventry, Flick was the decoy, that's a good save by Agrizovic, tied it up by Peak. Malcolm Allen, confronted by Peak. here's Flick, good turn and a very good save, again. Just take a look at the table. Coventry fourth, the highest league position since back in September. There's activity in the transfer market. Fullback Paul Edwards comes in from Crewe for £300,000. Out goes striker Gary Bannister to West Brom. 
back to the action. Home matches against Charlton, then a visit to Old Trafford, but first it's Ron Atkinson Sheffield Wednesday at Highfield Road, and they're desperate for survival points. Atkinson. Well, they've let him run. Oh, they've got away with it too, or have they? Hurst, they haven't. Fine ball by Drinkle. Gin. Oh, that's a very good goal indeed for Coventry. 1-1. Mickey Gin. Hurst. Players peeling off him right and left. Sheridan was one of them. Nigel Worthington, I think, got the decisive touch. And he thinks so too. Snapped up by Sheffield Wednesday again. Carr. Sheridan! Sheffield Wednesday turning on the style. Coventry must be wondering how they can play like they did at the City Ground Nottingham only a week ago and yet fall apart as they're doing here. Worthington, and that's one for Atkinson, four for Sheffield Wednesday. Watson, well turned over by Grzevich. Well, Regis is onside, Livingston has gone inside, and so too has Gallagher, here he is, yes! That's a great ball. And Grzevich has come a long way to meet Williams, who has gone down in a rather untidy package. Keeper came a long way there. I don't think there was any intent. Caton took it. Hit the bar. Mortimer! Oh, it's a fine save from Steve Grzevich. Play waved on. And Minto has got one back. It's 1-1. One, one. Well, Charlton really have on the day looked the far livelier of the two sides. And Coventry fortunate still to be in it. Oh, that's gone in! Off Kevin Drinkle! An own goal! Ince driving on. McClare, Coventry back off, but they haven't picked up Hughes very tightly. Mark Hughes from Manchester United, and Coventry pay the price. Oh, it's run all the way through to Webb. Blocked by Burrows, Webb got to it again. Oh, and Hughes has made a goal out of very little, really, his second. Ince is really on the burst now. And it'll come for Neil Webb. So close to coming back with a goal. Webb to take the corner. Four minutes left. Robbins angled it in to give the scoreline a very conclusive look. Disappointing match, a very disappointing sequence. Three successive defeats, Coventry slide down to ninth in the table. They really want to get back to winning ways now. Matches to come against Spurs and Queen's Park Rangers. First, the Midlands derby against County at Highfield Road. Here come the Sky Blues again, Regis jumping. They come all the way through to David Smith. He's chosen the outside, and it's gone in! Off Mark Wright, possibly! It's a probing ball from Sedgley, and uh, Stewart dealt with it strongly. Lineker! Oh, my word! By his standards, that's a glaring miss. Stewart. Lineker's cross, and Paul Allen flashes it over. 
So Smith's corner. Oh, Torsvet! That's an own goal by the Tottenham goalkeeper. David Smith curled it in, and Torsvet could only push it into his own net. Off the line, and buried by David Speedy, and Coventry have got two. Stewart and Lineker, Tottenham are back at it. Stewart, what can he do here? Oh, well, that's what he can do. A fabulous goal. Paul Stewart, who really has been rehabilitated with Tottenham's recent excellent form. Lineker! The corner routine pays off for Tottenham. Brian Burrows with the throw for Coventry. There's David Speedy. Looking for Gallagher. Oh, Regis nipped in there. It was intended for David Seaman. Burrows. Speedy jumping, and here's Smith. Yes. Smith's corner. Speedy pulling away. Edwards, oh, he hit that well. Oh, it's a fine save. About three, possibly four minutes of injury time we played here. Maddox is in for 1 1. Speedy jumping again. Regis. And again, that's a good save. We're into the final furlong, three games to go, and the Sky Blues will want to finish strongly to consolidate that position in the top ten. Here are the final fixtures, Wimbledon away, Southampton, they're getting a lot of goals at the moment, and what a finale, the champions Liverpool coming to Highfield Road. First of all, let's go to London and Plough Lane. Trinkle, collected by Regis who's hard to shake off the ball and he wasted no time in shooting it was a good effort too from Cyril good year picked out well by Krasinski Miller well there haven't been many close calls for Coventry but that was clip forward by Case Tissier, was he bumped in the back? He was by Trevor Peak. And I think you'll see here that that was a push. This for 24 this season for Letizia. <laughs> Letizia, oh, that was superbly played for Wallace, for Horn. And Southampton really taking a grip in the latter stages of the first half. Well, Coventry will be warned, I'm sure, about Russell Osman. But they haven't heeded the warning. He's certainly part of the artillery for Southampton. And very much a big gun, Russell Osman. Speedy, Gallagher's in here. And scores, two minutes on the clock, and Coventry are in front, Kevin Gallagher. Hussein, forward for Rush. Oh, and that's crept in. He doesn't score too many from outside the box, Ian Rush, that was a beauty. Rush, McMahon, Mulby's gone on, and Barnes! And that's 2-1 Liverpool. Staunton. Hussein storming forward and Barnes! That's his second, Liverpool's third. Rush deep. And Rosenthal rides the challenge and might score yet. He has, Ronnie Rosenthal. And this is becoming a riot for Liverpool, 4-1. Mo 
Mulby. Rush. And Barnes on the left flank now. Oh, he's done Clark comfortably. This could be the hat trick. It is a glorious finish by John Barnes. Barnes and Rosenthal. And Barnes here. Rosenthal, is there six? Driven in. 6 1. The champions Liverpool quite outstanding. But despite that result, fabulous scenes to end the season. They really reflect great credit on the Highfield Road crowd. Coventry finish 12th. Getting goals is the major problem. Only 39 goals in 38 league games. The scorer's chart reflects that. Not one Coventry player manages to get into double figures. Mind you, it's been a rebuilding period at Highfield Road this season. Strikers Drinkle, Gallagher and Livingston have all had their moments. They'll hope everything clicks next season. The maestro, David Speedy though, he's still got an exquisite touch in front of goal.